Violence begets violence. Evil acts beget evil acts. Hatred begets hatred. Those who live by the sword die by the sword. Evil acts get better press. Peace is actually more interesting. Being a peacemaker is more interesting. When we look at the life of Jesus, it was more interesting than just a person trying to end an empire by means of empire. The ways of power over, overt power over, is not interesting. When one person does evil and another person does evil, it's really not that good of a story. When we look at stories in our culture that have been very, very influential in the past few years, I can't think of one more influential than Walter White of Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, he was a good guy who turned evil. He was a good parent who turned into a bad parent. He was a good husband who turned into a bad husband. He wasn't simply a man who was evil who became evil because that's not interesting. What Jesus did is more interesting. Peace is actually more difficult than war. War is simple. You fight to the death. Peace you also fight to the death, but it's much more interesting because it's a death of sacrifice. It's a death of hard work and pain and suffering and hope. It's a mother who gives birth to a child, not because of the pain, but because of the joy. It's a person who's running the good race, not because of the endurance and pain and suffering of mile 22, but because of the joy that comes at mile 26.2. That's what is interesting. When I look at the evil done in the past week, yet another shooting, yet another school shooting, yet another shooting with innocent elementary kids being slaughtered and killed and murdered. Kids killing kids. Kids buying guns, thinking that they're toys, but knowing that they are not. So there's lots of violence that is just not that interesting. And when I think about the past week, um, I can't help but be lamenting and mourning and grieving and angry and sad, um, overwhelmed, frustrated. But I don't think that me being angry and telling you that I'm angry and making a podcast and posting on social media and promoting my friend's book who survived a school shooting, I don't really know if any of that does any good. But I'm going to keep doing it. And I think the other thing is it's motivated me to try to do something, whether it's um, supporting financially um, some more, um, not more, but different laws, I guess, not necessarily more laws, but different laws, um, diving into, you know, maybe other people's viewpoints, you know, what is the Second Amendment for? What is the Second Amendment about originally? Um, why do we love guns? And what does, um, what does, you know, Jesus of the Bible have to say about violence? I think so. those things are all interesting, and I can talk about them. But it's more about trying to do things. And I, I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna try. Um, I think that there's war and peace in all of us. I think there's hatred and uh, love in all of us. I think there's good and evil in all of us. 
And I think that is interesting. But um, this idea that we can fight violence with violence is just not that interesting. And I don't think it's ever served anyone. And so when I um, think about what I can do, um, I think I'm a little bit overwhelmed and a little bit apathetic and a little bit, um, yeah, I think apathy. Um, but I don't want to be apathetic about kids being killed in schools. I don't want to be apathetic about um, people um, being able to buy an automatic assault weapon um, for fun on their birthday. I don't want to be apathetic about, uh, you know, another shooting, whether it's innocent people in a grocery store, whether it's um, innocent people in a school or a church or um, anywhere else. Um, I don't want to be apathetic, but I, I think that I have gotten apathetic. Um, I'm certainly not doing uh, too much with my anger or my apathy. But I just wanted to, um, I guess, close by just praying for Texas, praying for Buffalo, praying for those affected in other shootings that I don't know about uh, that have occurred, and simply knowing that um, I want to do something and I don't know what that is. And I think God honors that prayer. God, help us to realize that peace is more interesting than war. Help us to realize that forgiveness and love is more interesting than violence. Help us to realize that what you are interested in is the heart, is the heart of the matter. And help us to have wisdom to discern what is at the heart of this matter, this uh, uniquely American sickness, as one author said. Help us to become people that honor you by how we act, that honor you by how we pray, that honor you by what we say. Amen. <laughs>